the most high creator of nature, yeah man, we do give thanks and praise just come across that information in with the Jamaica cultural leader Muta Baruka. I said African people are the only people say I am not African, I am West Indian. Well, I mean, no, you yeah, clap up, you yeah, clap it at me still. We well, yeah, are more subliminally. Yeah. I'm mean, no, you're yeah, probably not upon a personality. I'm more you. I bring the information, Muta Baruka, where you go learn in the University of West Indies. Yeah, because I know you are a big man now. Old and grey. You know, we have to excuse the fact that your foundation has come out of the University of the West Indies, and that's how you can get your knowledge. And by extension, you may come across a few books here and there where you come out of Africa and everything pertaining to Africa. You don't know nothing about the continent where you're on right here, which is America. You lack this information, or you just discard and ignore it. Just like the colonizers will teach you people to uh, behave according to the colonizers. Your big Pan African agenda on behalf of the African Union is to subject we as a people here in the West into for a new colonial type of slavery, we want to have we declare ourselves as so called African in order for some big foreign war plane and warship from scoop we up right here and dump we all about in the Sahara about them, where we don't know nothing about. You people will come out of that university, love to talk about ancestors, and you don't know nothing about this land. What do you think? Africa was created and every the, the, the world rev revolved around Africa. That are the information where your colonizers taught you, Muta Baruka. Oh no. We don't know different different organizations. Are the problem here? Can I propose to myself as scholars on behalf of the governmental agency where you pay oh no, silently? And give you all kind of privilege so you can earn all kind of foreign money. Who oh, no. are the problem to the common people here? Uh, because uh, oh, no. we're going to the so called foreign institution of learning, the so called universities. The people them look up to Uno oh, say, all right, to now come out and make we, the people, become better. But look at the state of condition now. Remember, you know, for the top professor we are teaching you now for dance and wheel and twirl, you know. A professor retinetic for them, you can't deny these things. These are on the foundation. This is where you're on a spoil. And then you're going on a little Freemasonic organization and on a lodge. We are call it societies. Where you want to come out, whatever business you don't want, yeah. However, I don't want it red carpet. Uh, uno is a club member. But I propose to myself as if on a radical, radical wear. I'll give you enough respect, Muta Baruka. Only true me know you is a family man. And you have wife and children and loved ones where love and honor you. So upon the level, eh, you get my total respect. Truly. But when it comes on to the cultural aspect of things, you have to stand down this day and age with your Pan-African agenda. Because you're not going to deceive all the people, forget them. You know, some foreign people wall senior on some big cruise ship and take residence. And then the very same cruise ship have the people um, enslaved in chains that take them to some place in Africa. What's the origin of Africa? Do your ancestors know that name? Does any of the ancestors know that name as Africa? Where you are going to Africa, Muta? This is an outer order behavior only because you know, so you're an entertainer. I don't have that, the, the, you know, the influence 
are the common people who are just a develop, who are just start learn. Yeah, man, Mota, we rebuke you, yeah, man, on your Pan African agenda. You can go in Australia and tell them dark skinned people, I say, hey, Africa, you come from? You can go in India and tell the Jawar people, say, hey, Africa, you come from? You can go in any location where them call the Black Belt or the Earth, the Equator, everything where you see the sun a beat on. You can tell those people, say, hey, you originate in Africa. Mota, back where? With your backward story, your backward narrative, your backward argument. It's outdated, brethren. And your sellout is 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 plain as day. You know, advocate for the people, no time at all. Anytime you do anything for people, I'm more for promote whatever you have coming up next. Or you're quick for tell people, say, so call yourself African, yet. A very rich man in the earth, such as yourself. Because you're a rich man with a rich family. You make all kind of trip and visit to Africa. Why you don't stay down there? Why? Listen, we have African program where we look on right here upon the island. Go down there with your family and your wealth and stay down there. And then you can promote and talk about down there. You work on behalf of the adversary. Muta Baruka. You want to confuse the people continually or perpetually having them acclaim this African descent. The moment the people here claim African descent when them they in America originate in America and they are the true Americans. Whether them are Awak Indian, whether them call themselves Arawak Indian, whether them call themselves West Indian, they are Americans here that are the nationality. When they say Jamaican, that are the corporate state. So we now give away a continent or an hemisphere for just an island motor. And we now make you bamboozle way. And tell you about, you know, you want left legacy. So your great, great, great grandchildren can live wealthy. Because you're going to sell out all the way. If no man now go rebut it, I am here, I am here. We are the original American, whether I call American here. We are who we call Awak Indian. The foreign people call we Arawak Indian. And when them change the name to West Indies and Caribbean and all of these things, all of those documents are there, Mota Baruka, but you ignore it. We have all kind of documents that show when your foreign friend them, your foreign friend them were invade with location, come here. Most of them as vagabonds. We have all kind of information to show when the East Indian come here and accredit everything and attribute everything to foreigners and totally ignore the original people. What the Latin man them would have called Aboriginal people. You get me? Where some of the attorneys, foreign attorneys, would call indigenous people. What them used to be called native from the naval. But because they use them word wizardry and them dictionary, them say the native now are some foreign people. What's your point of origin? What's your ancestral origin? Right now we can't trust nothing. Got the foreign agents to them totally pollute and corrupt everything. Now you do not know what is right from what is wrong. You can't tell the weak from the strong. You get me? Where is the truth in the earth? Yeah, man. If now I go out in it, the truth will be here. You have no truth because you are an agent with an agenda. And your agenda is to enslave the people by having them claim this foreign status. How can you claim to be an African? Okay. What region are you? It does going to be a general fraudulent term like African. This is the trickery where you people always perpetuate on behalf of an slave master. A current certificate, but you, 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 you
that very courtesy, the courtesy, own everything, no time to get over there. This is why later, anytime you step out of line and start to uh, shoot for defend the people, later car, you might do it when you're much older, when you say, all right, we do everything already. This is when they have a judgment, you know, uh, who know the type of sign the blood oath. Lock on out my public now. I want to propose to myself like on a radical and on a free and is against all kind of thing. But on a sign blood oath. You understand? And I care how I say on a use to. There is no such thing. Our light is an agenda car. I don't bring no solution for the common people or the common man. And I is against the most high creator of nature. I make on a choice long time in a whole end. Remember, you know, you show respect to your family and your family members. You understand? But for you personally, with your Pan African narrative, I know now I get some healthy money to perpetuate this lie. All I know in these organizations, this is why I can flaunt myself out there in the public. But in the private, I'm quite sure I don't experience misery. Yeah, man, I don't experience misery, man, in the private. But publicly, I don't put on a show. You guys are the sellout, man. Yeah, man, if you don't go to Africa, go live and set up shop and promote your thing from Africa. We cannot believe you. We cannot trust you. You understand? And the people should not listen to you. For entertainment purposes, that's fine. But when you talk about nationality, and you there in America, your granddaddy the day in America, your great, great, great granddaddy or grandmommy was here on this rock. And you gotta tell yourself, say, yeah, what? You need to identify with what? Because of the university education where you got. We don't want to hear that. If I say I am a West Indian, that's what I say. Who is you, old man? So you gotta tell me, say, boy, I am African. How dare you, old man, will come out of one university where you have some professors who are twisted? This is why the place is like this. Because if we'd have make them correction here from early, the correction would be there in the earth. We don't have no credibility for come speak. But because we you know have you know, the puppet for the you know, foreigners, then we have a beautiful platform to spread you know, propaganda. Where is your truth, old man? I hope your family members have a different view from you. At least I look for see the truth. Say, Daddy, what the truth? How we are here about this American? There is no narrative. Or you keep those a secret. How can we be here in America and we allow some foreign people to come and say, hey, we are the Americans. It's no different from these foreign people here on the island. Hey, we are Jamaicans. And because you motor. We choose to walk barefoot. But you don't drive a pro box. You get me? You drive a big expensive vehicle. Which is good because you work hard as an entertainer. There's nothing wrong with that. But what me I say, you can't relate to the common man. Because you have never been common since you entered the university. Because one of the things women know with the university, you know, once you can dance like how you can dance and perform art, there is always some patron in the, in the background somewhere I take care of them. So you are no longer common. So when I talk about ghetto, in a phone time there was no such thing. When we want to hear about the stories of Jamaica, we listen to the badass platform over Britain. I guess we know truth there. I guess we know people who talk unbridled and not afraid and can back it up. We can't trust Uno colonial flunkies, colonial pawns. We cannot trust you guys. We will show your respect as an elder. That we're going to do. And we're going to always salute your family and all your family members. But you personally, sir, you have to dismiss you with your Pan African narrative on behalf of your Pan African Union. I wonder how much land them offer you somewhere in Africa.
And why you won't go and stay? What is it? This is why we know no, you know, lie on a fraudulent. Yeah, man. And all I want to deal with is an agenda scam. For have the people say, hey, 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 we are African. We don't have nothing against African people. Absolutely nothing at all against the Africans. You understand? Nothing at all. Just like how we embrace with Haitian brothers from this side. We don't have a problem embracing with hate with African brother from that side over there. But you can't tell with who we are. And every man have a right to decide his own destiny. And then when you check your ancestral lineage, it not say Africa. For me, I can't see when people like all now, I can't take a trip to Africa and come back just like you, Muta. But I guarantee you, you can't find no great, great, great granddaddy of yours in Africa. You can't find that. Yeah, you're a brethren, correct on a thing out there, man. On a becoming despicable, man. You understand? Correct that fallacious story. If you are an African and can trace your ancestral lineage to Africa, salute, we can celebrate you, but don't, you know, project your university Pan African story on us. No, we're there with our own narrative and our own information for it. But your garbage we wanna spew all these years where Uno alone get rich and, and watch it. all the other people suffer. Uno alone. And anybody will come with the truth behind the scenes and orchestrate and work hard to discredit these people. Oh no, the one where to switch it up in a brethren. Cause on a, on a, on a subject on a to some gay professors early. When on a mind supposed to young when on a should have burn these things. Cause all on a grow up with Bible in our house. All when on a rasta. So on a can't see in our Bible we say from the man that come in front me and him stay a certain way. You know, we can't really deal with him enough. Make him go correct himself. So I want to subject myself to that kind of system a long time ago. So I can't put on costume like some police will put on costumes and fool with your conduct. Yeah, man. Your actions. Yeah, man. Your commissions. These are what we have a look at. This is how you're judging up by your commission or your omission. By your actions or your inactions. So when you step out here and I go speak like you speak on behalf of this island nation and these people, I am here for say fire burn. You know, have no credibility. Fire burn. Go and go respond to Jaboni. Fire burn to you personally. And again, we are show respect to your household. And we are showing respect to your family and all of your family members. But we don't like your Pan African story. We not accept it. We are reject it. Yeah, man. Take it back to your Prime Minister and your wholeness. We are born it. There are no Africans here. The moment we stand up as who we are, as a true American, as the West Indian, them people are for back with. You understand? We just now have enough on our way. You know? Get this information in our own. Because once it rises in our own, it has got to change, you know? We're not going to look upon these kind of mimicry, these kind of toys, these kind of, you know what I mean? Costume wearing people. And you're going to see them for what them truly is. You understand? Look in our mirror, brethren. When you speak, speak in such a way where you are said, you and your kind, and your people, your household are Africans. What kind of all people are African? Which part of my ancestor would have known that term? And remember, the people on that continent, we have nothing against them. It's an absolute love for the African people. Salute to my Bantu people. You understand? Salute out there. But we no want no Pan African story. Because these guys, when round up the people and we are claimed to be African, 
and them go and ship them to some little African location. And when you look, they go and see bare yellow skinned people and probably a few sell out tall ear man. You know what I mean? And they're biracial children. Spread out. Say, so this is Jamaica. When you look, a bare white faced people in you know, Jamaica. Claiming to be Jamaica. No different from what I'm doing on the mainland in what I'm call North America. They, they did the very same thing. History repeats itself only because the people are sluggards. Yeah, man. Easily forget. Yeah, man. Them talk about ancestors but can't demonstrate nothing yet. Or whatever ancestors you know, have a must some sell out cut short dirty ancestors. Uh, this is how no I can conduct and carry on myself, like some big colonial sellout. No different from the Moors who propping up themselves as if they were some liberators. How can you be a liberator signing a treaty when you're re re relegated to a little corner like a dog? And some foreign master hovering over you. You can fool some people sometimes, not all the people. We are the Awak of this hemisphere. We are the original people of this hemisphere. We are who we say we are. Mota, you and your kind go to Africa and stay there. They don't even need a visa. You go and stay. Sit, poodle. In your case, your Ubu, sit. Enough of you. Your nonsense. Sit. 